about NAB at the 2023 NAB show in New York. German tech giant Lavo showcased an expanded IP portfolio, including the debut of a new product. Highlights include the home apps with versatile media processing, the Edge SDIP conversion platform, and the NC Squared UHD core platform for live performances. Additionally, the Diamond Broadcast Console offer offers future-proof radio broadcast solutions. So I know we don't have Mary today, but can you talk a little bit more about all that? Yeah, well, I think that the couple things. One is Lava's really come a long way. They, they've been an IP on the audio side. They're now taking that skill set, applying it to video. Uh, they were the second or they're the second to come out with or the first to come out with a product that competed against uh, Imagine Selenium network processor in terms of an edge uh, IO device as well as a, a, a network platform. Um, and they're just they seem to take it to that next level that their home apps are very, very interesting. And what they've done is sort of as we move more towards IP, every computer has an IP spigot, you're not going to need dedicated hardware like their Edge platform or like the SMP, although there's there's obviously still a, a market space for them. But they're, they're moving into that pure software model. So now it's just a matter of processing. What that does is gives you flexibility. You know, you can do UHD, you can do multi-viewer, you can do... HDR processing now software only or based in software only. So uh, it, it's interesting because you can do one production and it can be a UHD product uh, for upconverting, let's say. And then, you know, the next product, it, you flip that server over and it becomes a multi-viewer or whatever else. So it really does provide a lot of flexibility, which again is, is sort of that motto that we've been hearing is you have to do more with less. Uh, I always say eventually you do less with less, but this is enabling you to take it a little bit further and really optimize your hardware, those underlying servers that you have in, in your solutions, to be able to do those things that in the past used to take dedicated hardware. And hopefully, I haven't looked at the pricing, but hopefully their pricing is going to align a little bit more with a software versus hardware, uh, but we'll have to wait and see.